it's high time people knew Reno for who Reno for who he is. So Mac Reno Macri went as far as criticizing the sitting president now, Tinibu, before the elections and after the elections, he criticized him. Um, he talked about how good luck Billy Jonathan was the best president and all of those good stuff about good stuff about the man. And then he spoke so many things about Peter Obi. This man dragged Peter Obi for things that concern Peter Obi and the ones that do not concern Peter Obi. Something will happen in the north. He will say Peter Obi has not written anything. Peter Obi is a hypocrite. Peter Obi is a bad person. Peter Obi is this. Another one will happen in the south. He will go on and on talking about Peter Obi, dragging him. How Peter Obi did not go to the things. What happened in Lagos? He did not he did not entertain them because those people are not from his tribe. This man pushed. He pushed so much tribe narrative. Then from there he will go to pastors and drag pastors. How pastors are not quoting the Bible well. He will do live streams. He will post. He will teach people how they are not financially smart. Hey, Reno did so many things, and now people are asking Reno Mikri. Simple question, sir. Sir, <laughs> somebody said he said spending Independence Day with. President Tinibu at the presidential villa. May God bless Nigeria. Now he's saying, May God bless Nigeria. Hey, hey, this same man that said Nigeria is doomed because one would think, okay, because he's bashing Pitobi, he will support Tinibu. He, 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 he claimed by his tweet and post not to support. One thing I've noticed about Reno Makri is that Reno Makri is a content creator. Reno Makri. Is not doing all of these things to make Nigeria better. That is why, you, excuse me, you see the shots here. A tweet he did talking down on this same Mr. President that he's sitting with and giving handshake. <laughs> people were accusing Renu that all these things we are doing is just so that these people will notice you. So have you seen it? Exactly what Nigerians said. It was just for him to be noticed. That was why Renu did what he was doing. Because things that did not even concern Peter Obi, Reno would drag Peter Obi into it. He would drag Atiku. There was nobody he wasn't dragging, so people did not know where Reno really stood. But of course, you can see now when he lives here, something must exchange. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. What something must exchange, and Reno is not. Good. See, that's what all these people do. When they see that you are very active, they try to buy you. And if you don't allow them to buy you, they become your friend. And of course, you know when somebody is close to you, you might not be able to criticize the person. If you are truly trying to do that to better Nigeria, if you, Nigerians, please, if you are thinking Reno was doing all of this for the betterment of Nigerians or Nigeria, please wake up. All these tweets you see him tweeting was just so that he will bring Peter Obi down and just drive home a point. Another thing Reno Makri does that people don't understand is that he likes to remain relevant so he jumps on every topic and criticizes everybody from churches to pastors to offerings to to so many the way they preach the way um okay he jumped on Moses bliss so everything that trends reno has a say on that thing and is usually his own is always opposite if out of 100 things reno will say half thing that will make sense. Mm. You say I think that will make sense. Renu will drag people. Renu will say he has demeaned a lot of people. How Nigerian women are not good. That's why Mrs. Bliss went to Ghana to go and marry. Nigerian women are no loyal again. This one, that one. Hi, Renu. Renu. See you. You started entering corridors of power. I know that you have tested power before under good luck. And you see the way people are telling you. This one says, but you once called this man names sometimes last year. Just last year. It's not even up to a year. Or maybe a year. And you're already dining. <laughs> hey, I trust politicians. They know how to deal with their critics. They know how to. If you truly want to be a freedom fighter or you want to really criticize the government stay away from appointments that's the mistake a lot of people make you criticize the government and when that government comes you don't think they will give you appointment and you think that appointment is clear eye is laced with a lot of 
you know, things, traps waiting to capture you. The little mistake you do. Ask people who have been in power, who were freedom fighters, who were um, activists, and they gave them appointment, or even elected them. Let's just say appointment. Listen to their story. Because when they went into it, they went into it from the point of activism. So they want to be act they want to be activists to do what is right. But when they enter the system, they will see that there's nothing right in it. If they enter the system, they will see that there's nothing really right in the system. So what all they are doing is not working out the way the, the people are playing their own card. So hmm. So I say, good, why holding why hiding before? Exactly. Somebody is asking why was he hiding before? So right now, people are beginning to see Renu for who he truly is. You see, he's already dining with the same people he was criticizing. Shame on you, Renu. 